Today, humans are the most intelligent species in the world. But there were times our ancestors were so insignificant, even T-Rex didn't want them as a side dish. Today, we are at the top of the food chain. It wasn't easy, but we made it. We had to survive few world endings, pandemics, two old wars, and many other wars. So fighting wasn't so unusual to us. Even right now, we are fighting against a virus. Not a civil war, not a world war, but a war against a virus. Coronavirus groups are like... Humans are useless. We must kill them all. Some of them working too much. Let's give them some break. I'm gonna send our best soldier. And kill them all. Basically, everybody tries to isolate themselves by staying at home and doing nothing. Yes, we are at the brink of extinction and we are asked to stay at home to survive. No cool zombie killings like in Walking Dead or World War C and aliens didn't invade us as they told. So we are just staying at home with water, electricity, Netflix, food and everything else we need. Can you believe that? Our grandfathers had to fight in World Wars. But only thing we have to do to survive is staying at home. Lame, right? So, meanwhile, humanity is blessed to see this kind of stuff during this time of chaos. Why people, why? Maybe we all deserve to die? Then cockroaches can make a good use of this world. Until then, if you are an introvert like me and love to watch movies, we can see so many stuff before we die. I love Second World War movies so much. During the Second World War, science and technology made huge advancements. And then it was the time of real men. So I recently watched this movie called Midway and surprisingly it was so good. I'm not going to say anything about the movie, but let's see this. Movie magic, VFX, special effects, of course yes. But this way of bombing was real and let's talk about that. Basically, Navy has a separate air force of their own to destroy enemy ships. So, naval carriers used to take out these flights into the ocean and used for takeoff and landings. During the Second World War, there wasn't enough technology to aim and bomb moving ships from high altitudes. So, naval aviation had to depend on people who loved to do theirs, I guess. The name dive bombing came as pilots make a dive in the sky. There is a caliber machine gun in the back of the plane to fight back because pilots duty is to land the bomb on enemy ships precisely. So this is how things will happen during a dive bombing session. Pilot sees the enemy ship, position himself, change the angle, start to dive, reach the target height, release the bomb and pull upwards. It was crazy, right? Indeed. The whole process is fast, chaotic and dangerous. Pilots would black out due to the lack of oxygen and blood supply to the brain. But people still did that. Like Lieutenant Richard Dick Best, who was able to land two bombs and destroy two Japanese carriers Kaga and Akagi during the Battle of Midway. The Battle of Midway was a huge turning point of Second World War. If you're interested, go and check it out. You can find so many awesome information related to it. So let's stay at home and make good use of it. Be safe everyone.